Hi, my name is Anne Koenig and I am a stroke survivor and Go Red Women Ambassador in Sacramento. I am joined today by Mary Velasquez, registered nurse, nurse practitioner, program manager and stroke coordinator at the Stroke Center at Sutter Health Memorial Medical Center. We're talking about stroke, what it is and how to prevent and treat it. So let's start with what is a stroke and what the different types of stroke that can occur. Mary, can you explain that for us? Yes, Anne, I certainly can. And, and I wanna thank you also for having me here today. Uh, definitely, this is uh, something near and dear to my heart. Um, there are essentially three types of stroke. And so I'll start with uh, the most common, which is called an ischemic stroke. This is when uh, we have a, a clot that will uh, block an artery in the brain. And essentially the brain is not getting uh, useful oxygen and the brain cells can quickly die. This is about 87% of the strokes. The second type of stroke is what we call a hemorrhagic stroke. And this is, if you remember, you know, this means there's a bleed in the brain. And this is about 13% of strokes. It's one of the most, it's the riskiest and most um, cause of death for uh, stroke patients where a blood vessel in the brain will rupture. And then the last one is a transient ischemic attack, a TIA. I think a lot of folks are familiar with that. And uh, with this is what some people refer to like a mini stroke. Well, you, it is a serious clot that is temporary. And uh, when I mean by temporary, usually we see it resolve in an hour or 24 hours. Thank you. Um, Mary, so what are the risk factors for a stroke and what can people do to reduce their chances of having one? Most common risk factors are gonna be blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, you wanna be able to control it. Work with your provider to find out what's the best number for you. You may have heard American Heart Association say, know your numbers. It's important you know what is the best blood pressure for you and to manage that and control it. Another would be smoking. That's a risk factor that essentially you just wanna stop smoking. And diabetes, if you unfortunately have diabetes, you wanna control that, manage it, take your medications and have uh, normal blood glucose levels. You also wanna manage a healthy weight. And by doing that, you don't wanna be sed sedentary. That's a really big risk factor. You wanna exercise. And if you have high cholesterol, you want to decrease that. And you're gonna do that with a healthy diet. And lastly, I'd like to mention uh, atrial fibrillation. That's a very unfortunate, common, irregular heartbeat we have. And with that, your physician, your cardiologist is gonna to wanna to control the rate and they're gonna to wanna to make sure you're on blood thinners to avoid those clots going up into your brain. Um, okay, next question. So there can be physical warning signs when someone is suffering a stroke. Can you tell us what those are and why it is so important for someone, someone having a stroke to get help fast? Absolutely, and I'm gonna use the a word that is a way for you to remember. It's called, it's be fast. And each letter will stand for important signs and symptoms. So B stands for balance. If you have a sudden loss of coordination or balance, this could be a sign of a stroke. Uh, e stands for eyes. If you have vision changes, blurred vision, double vision, uh, you, you don't wanna ignore that symptom. It could just be the simply that one symptom. And face. Do you, have you noticed a facial droop on one side or the other? Uh, any, is, is your face paralyzed and you can't move it? That's an important symptom. A stands for arm. And really it's, it speaks to having weakness on the upper extremities of your body, your arms or your lower extremities, your legs. So if you raise your arm up and it drifts down and you can't keep it up, and that happens with your leg on one side of the body, that is a very serious sign of a stroke as well. And S stands for speech. If you can't find your words, if you can't comprehend or understand what somebody's saying to you, difficulty with speech is another sign. And then T and be fast stands for call 911. So important to call an ambulance. Don't drive yourself. Don't have a family member drive you. Let the paramedics come and they can assess you. They, have, they will do the simple assessment that I just explained to you. And they can pre-alert us so we know that if you're having a stroke and the stroke team can meet you at the door. 
Okay, so the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women movement is all about living fierce and supporting women's heart and brain health. Stroke is a leading cause of death among women and I believe disability and kills more women than men. Why is this? And what do women need to be mindful of when it comes to fighting stroke? Yes, you know, there's a lot of information out there about women in stroke and the World Health Organization speaks to uh, stroke and cancer being one of the main causes for death in women in the US. You know, it, stroke is still the fifth leading cause of death. And you'll see a disparity of like 60% women with stroke compared to men. And this is especially among uh, women in the ages of 30 to 70 years old when we're our most productive. Well, unfortunately, women are still underrepresented. We call this gender inequity. You know, essentially, you know, we don't really always know what the warning signs that could be different in women. We um, also see that they present differently. So they're less recognized. Um, so what a woman can do about that is really know your risk. Focus on healthy lifestyle. Also keep in mind that you know, we are women, you know, we have hormone changes. We use birth control. Uh, we are, uh, ch you know, childbearing women have, do have risks, but it's mostly at postmenopausal because actually we don't have the hormones anymore to protect ourselves. And so that's where you work with your physician on how we balance those risks. Great. Thank you, Mary. And just thanks for taking the time to join me today. I really appreciate you helping us raise awareness to support stroke survivors like myself. You're very welcome. Very happy to. <laughs> Have a great day. You too.